Everything educational will be destroyed thanks to Dr. Dropout! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Dr. Dropout! There'll be no brain drains on my watch! <laughs> Your nerd powers won't work on me, Psionic Steve! I removed my brain long ago! I won't be the only brainless moron in this school once I dip everyone in my patented stupid goop! <laughs> ah, get your hands off me! I'm gonna kick your ass! Gad Zooks! I gotta save them! But I can't do it when I'm dressed as a mild-mannered everyday coop! This looks like a job for... Super Coop! Super Coop, my favorite protege! You are here to save us all! Per usual, ha-ha! I am speaking to you using my telepathic powers! Psionic Steve, my very close personal friend. I can hear you using my telepathic powers. Listen, Coop, you must stop Dr. Dropout's many droogs from destroying education. But first, you need to use your super walking powers to reach them. I will walk you through the steps of this walking walkthrough with you. Walk this way. Slightly to the left. Hurry, Super Coop! will be done for before the day is done. All in a day's work. This will be a walk in the park. Ha 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 Rightly so, my clever comedic companion. Now, onward to the gymnasium. Hmm. 
Not so fast, Super Coop. One of Dr. Dropout's deadly droogs delays your destiny. If only there was a way to disable and dispose of the dastardly dum-dum. Direct your attention in his direction. Got him in my sights, Psionic Steve. Please call me Steve on account of how close we are as friends. Sea Dog. Egad! He's beating the education out of that fellow student. If only there was a way to stop him. Perhaps a precarious punishment is perched in proximity to that perverse pillager. That would be super convenient. Please, peruse. Perceptively peruse. <laughs> Hooray! You never cease to amaze. Big ups to you, bud. But wait! Look to the left! Ain't no smarty brains getting in here, or they'll get their smart brains blown out. Yeah, dumb people only. Yeah, especially me, because I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, but I'm stupider. That's why the boss likes me best. Oh, day, that's fair. Ooh, I love the horses at the fair. Oh, yeah, and the cotton candies. <laughs> There stands a deadly duo whose arms are armed with deadly bullet dispensing danger. If only there was a way to disarm the armaments from their arms. Quickly, think. Time is of the essence. Coop, I just remembered your super lit backpack. All the guys covet, and all the girls love it. I think it is neat how you keep all the items you collect in it, like an inventory of sorts. So organized, so cool. Hey, thanks, Steve. It's my favorite. I wonder how you could possibly trap those terrible transgressors. Say, what do you keep in such a super cool backpack anyway? I have always wondered. Get your gun off my gun! Uh-oh! Our guns are in love! Let go! No, you! Wondrous work, Super Coop! You confounded those criminals with a culturally appropriate Confucian contraption of ancient Chinese confusion! Congrats! Now, to successfully open the gymnasium door and walk through it! You are so close! On it! Don't worry, citizen. Those head injuries are nothing a little studying can't fix. No time for a snack. There's crime to fight. Super Goop! We're saved! Soup Scoop. Well, 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 if it isn't Super Coop, which I'm pretty sure it is! Isn't it? You bet your brainless belfry, Dr. Dropout! Well, you'll lose that bet because I don't even know what a belfry is! And soon, neither will you! Once I've destroyed every book, every brain, and every school, you will be just another drooling dummy on this big flat earth. Just like me. The only thing flat on this earth will be your face once I'm done with you. Better get a move on. Your friends will be stupefied by then. Allow me to demonstrate. Coop, help me, man. Sorry for all the bullying, but you gotta, you gotta help me out. My favorite color is applesauce. Oh, no! This is just the beginning, but enough talk! Have at you! 
You fools! Get him! Get him! Now's your chance, Super Coop! <laughs> Eat shit, Super Coop! You're too late! Hmm! Cannot break free! We will be doomed to dumbness in no time! Quickly, Coop! Drop some knowledge on Dr. Dropout! Knowledge is power! The less I know, the more powerful I become! Soon I'll be the most stupidest, most powerful being in the universe! It's sitting too high atop this flaming pile of knowledge! Nothing my super coup powers couldn't handle! Brilliant! You were not gobsmacked by his gobbly gook! Now get this goofy goon to graduation! Enjoy your student debt, Dr. Dropout! Ha-ha! <laughs> What's this? Congratulations, Dr. Dropout! You're now a high school graduate! And you're the valedictorian! Way to go! What? Now that's sticking it to him! No! This can't be possible! I don't want to be smart! A transformation of this magnitude to my cerebellum is only possible through- Oh my god! Wow, Boss sure looks smart. But Boss said we're supposed to destroy everything smart! Yeah, you're right. Let's get him! No! <laughs> no, you dullards! Get them, not me! Cease your incessant locomotion! Stop! You saved us, Super Coop! Will you go to prom with me? You saved us all, Super Coop! Way to put your mind to it! Now you are my hero! Cooper? Is that you? Mom? Dad? I, I thought you were dead! Yes, Coop! We are dead! And we're so proud of you! Coop! Cooper! Mr. McCarthy! Huh? What? Y yes, Mr. Murphy! Were you paying attention? Uh... What did I just say? Um, something about obtuse angles? Uh, right? Wrong! Everyone, point and laugh! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 look what we have here. Uh, wait, give that back. What was that? Couldn't hear you, Cooper. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Do us a favor and try not to waste all of our time. You suck, Coop. Let's shove him into a locker, and then shove that locker up his ass! Now, now! Nobody chastise Coop until I've had a chance to chastise him first. What I was saying, if you'll be so kind as to join us, is the word of the day is exposition. As you all know, graduation is just around the corner, so today you'll all be filling out your career aptitude tests. These tests will help determine what careers you might excel at, if any. I did this test when I was in school, and look where it got me. Ginger, true or false, fill in the dots, yada yada. Just fill these out so we can all go home. Think you can handle that coop? Or is the fate of your future too boring? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Pussy. Solid burn, Jet. Uh, Mr. Murphy? Will this affect any of our college applications? Maybe, maybe not. If you just fill it out honestly, you really won't have to worry about it. Now, will you, Sawyer? Ugh, come on. I already filled this out last year. I don't really have to do it again, do I? Yes, Kent, you do need to fill this out again. You think just because you were held back a grade that you get special privileges? Well, yeah. Hmm, you're right. You don't need to waste your time filling this out again. Just sit there and be handsome. And take off that crown. Thank you. All right, class. You know the drill. No talking, no cheating, no questions. Heads down. Just fill out the damn form and hand it in when you're done. Jesus Christ, Summer can't get here fast enough. Hmm.
Is Koopa total penis sexual? I'm gonna mark this one as true. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which one was that again? Hmm. Koop will make it to graduation alive? That's a false right there. <laughs> uh, eat a dick, Kent. I'll eat your dick, you gulch muncher! What have I told you about standing up for yourself, Poop Coop? That you'll color my eyeballs in with markers? Uh, again? That's right, Taint Tickler. Don't think for a second that you're safe just because school is almost over. Yeah, let's hold him down and tickle his taint for being so gay. What's all this ruckus? I said heads down! We're trying to concentrate on our aptitude test, and Coop won't stop hitting on us. Yeah, Coop, I told you. I'm not emotionally available to get into a physical relationship right now. Quit pressuring me, nut stump. No means no, Coop. Now quit being a creepy sex pest and finish your test! But... Yeah, and I totally saw Coop trying to copy off Chet's test, too. What? But he's the one cheating! For the last time, Coop, I don't care if Kent is cheating on you! He's a beautiful free bird that no one can chain down! Just look into those deep, gorgeous eyes of his! Now get your test done, or else! Final warning! What a queefing, cheating, cheater queef! I'm gonna use the five-point palm exploding heart technique on your tiny balls if you don't stop copying off me! That is it, Mr. Cooper! Since you can't seem to let these precious students focus on their tasks without cheating or pressuring them into premarital intercourse, get your lecherous behind to the principal's office now! But... Right now, mister! Ah. Ha-ha! Sayonara, dipshit dick turd! <sighs> Time to head to the principal's office. Down the hallway to the Red Door of Doom. That's the janitor's closet. Few go in, and few come out. Damn, the door's locked! I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. I'm here for my four o'clock. Is that you, Principal McNally? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm a student. Oh, all right. You're not very receptive, are you, receptionist? You'll have to speak up, dear. I'm wearing my backup glasses. Come on in, Coop. Have a seat. We both know why you're here. Wait, why are you here? I'm in trouble. You're darn right you're in trouble. I heard you were cheating on a test while sexually pressuring other students, including our beloved Kent. That's not true. Kent set me up. Oh, sure. I've heard it all before. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's so many things wrong with you. Where to begin? It's lecture time, Coop. Do you want to hear the long version or the short version? Uh, the long version, I guess? Tell me, Coop, what are your goals? How do you plan to score them? What would make you win the big game called life? Uh, I guess I've always wanted to help people. Help people with their troubles and problems. You know, kind of like a superhero. Like Psionic Steve. And how's that working out for you? Uh, well, most people I try to help really wish I didn't. Doesn't sound like any superhero I've heard of. What kind of hero cheats on tests? What kind of champion gets his head shoved into a urinal every day? And no prom date? Pathetic! Even I have a prom date, and I'm not even allowed to. You know, anyone who's anyone has a prom date. People keep saying that. Keep it up, and it's no hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter for Coop. And no prom! You'll be warming the bench, hitting the showers! Three strikes means you struck out! Game over, Coop. Game over! 
you'll leave high school forever remembered as the guy who didn't score a touchdown, the weirdo who didn't have a prom date, the freak that didn't help anyone. Is that the kind of superhero you want to be? A super freak? No, sir. It's just hard to focus on my goals, or er, scoring goals, when I'm tormented by bullies every day. It's hard to focus when my teacher shoots spit wads into my mouth whenever I yawn, or when Kent posts my internet search history on billboards all over town. Life is going to test you, Coop. You have to keep your eye on the ball. We're all balls in the same bag, Coop. You have to be a team player, like a sports team. Keep your eye on the ball and the other eye on the prize. Help the team cross the finish line and score a touchdown. You could pass or you could go for that three-pointer, but that wouldn't make you a team player. And if you don't pass, you fail. Not to put you down, but are you picking up what I'm putting down? I'm really not great with the uh, sports examples. It's a simile, Coop, like a metaphor with more likes. I want you to like your life. I want you to like, share, and subscribe to your own future. Are we on the same page? Speaking of pages, Coop, I'm adding this recent trouble to your permanent record. Dear God, this is worse than I thought. This permanent record here? This is a loser's permanent record. Losers stay losers permanently. Only a loser would have this many strikes on this record. And losers don't get to go on the hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter. Here I go, clicking my pen, the pen I'm using to mark this down on your permanent record to make you a permanent loser, permanently, with permanent ink. Please don't! It, it won't happen again! I, I'm sorry I've been acting up lately. I guess I have been feeling pretty directionless. I don't really have much of a positive role model in my life. I mean, there's Psionic Steve, but he's, uh, he's not exactly real. I really could use someone real to talk to, you know? I, I guess I... What's this? A distracting phone call? Hello? Don't you know I'm in the middle of leaving a red mark on a kid's future? Permanently? What's that? <gasps> Stacy broke her pelvis during the splits! That means there's an opening on the cheer squad! My time to shine! I'll be right there! Go Narwhals! I'll deal with your permanent record later. I have to go do something that's far more important than fixing your life. Now sit here and think of every word I've said and don't look at, touch, or talk to a single thing. I better find some way to alter my permanent record before Principal McNally sees it, or he'll never let me go on that field trip. So this is what it would feel like to be the most powerful dude in the school. So, Chair, tell me the Principal's darkest secrets. You know you want to. No way! He polishes this metal every day! Score! Free office supplies! A ninja. Okay, now I better go fetch the permission slip for the hashtag epic field trip to the bomb shelter from my locker. If I can get it signed, I can go on the trip, get closer to Sawyer, and finally be safe from bullies. And bombs. <laughs> What's a fella gotta do to wander these halls freely? That's 
simple enough. You've just got to grab a holly pass. But you're not going to get one without a damn good reason, though. So don't get your hopes up, Buster. Holly pass? Don't you mean hall pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yes, huh? Times a million. Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Ugh, Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly braiding down my neck. What you up to? That explains it. Are you huffing one of those scented markers? You mean that weak strawberry scented kindergarten shit? I only do the high-grade black market industrial strawberry scented shit. You know, the hard stuff. Ugh, it's all used up. I'm starting to get a feeling back in my face again. Uh, that can't be good. You'll never get those brain cells back. Brain cells? Who needs them? What I do need is something stronger. The fucking school banned the super strong stuff. And you can only buy them on the black market now. Well, at least it's a cheap addiction. Smell you later. Hey, uh, guys, would you mind, uh, stepping aside so I can get into my locker? Uh, mm, um. uh excuse me. Mm, yeah, that's a good feeling. H hello? Mm, I like that. Mm, mm. You know, this is actually starting to turn me on. Shit! He's really creeping me out. You perverted little shit! I'm trying to suck face with my babe! I just can't help it. It's like watching two earthworms sumo wrestle. I just want to stare harder. That's it! I can't do this here! There's a great spot under the bleachers outside where we can continue our mega makeout session. Totally. But first... Hey, everyone! Coop's a pervert who likes to watch us make out! I guess everyone finding me creepy still has its perks. That's where I keep all my stuff, and where people often stuff me. After graduation, I'll miss having my head slammed into you, old buddy. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind of books do you like? I like all kinds of stuff, really. Basically anything that doesn't focus on a meek protagonist trying to help people out in an apocalyptic setting. Boring. Uh, yeah, I meekly agree. Need help finding something? Absolutely not. Well played, uh, skeptical book guy. Say, are you done yet? Other people are thirsty too, you know. I tried to break the world record for consuming the most water. I just started. Uh, careful. You know you can die from drinking too much water, right? Then I beat the record for the youngest person to die of water poisoning. Either way, I break the record. I simultaneously question and admire your dedication. Also, your ability to speak while drinking. They don't call me both for talking for nothing. Mixing some chemicals, eh? What are you making? According to my calculations, this should make either some silly putty or a deadly noxious gas. Uh oh, I see. Hmm. Could you find out after I leave the room? Thanks. What you reading? 
I stumbled upon some weird report on a massive supply of toxic chemicals under the school. Seems to be like a secret lab or something. Sounds like a ridiculous conspiracy theory with no truth to it whatsoever. Well, you might be right. Just like you're right about 9-11. Here, this will prevent the government from reading your mind when you play with yourself. This tinfoil hat will keep my thoughts from being transmitted to the mothership. go there without a hall pass. Hey Jennifer, what's up? Shh, not now. I'm trying to study. Holy crap! What happened to your face, Greg? I know, it's horrible, right? I could barely stand to look at it. Oh, you think that's bad? Try living with it. Grandma says, never put your hands on a box without permission. Hey, Mr. Barry, how's history class going today? Today? That would make it present class, would it not? <laughs> Just a little history class humor for you, Coop. Mind if I take one of your pens? Sorry, but each of those pens has a long history to it. I'd be happy to go into great detail about the history of each pen. After that, we can talk about the history of pens and ink if you like. Who needs Netflix when you can talk about history 24-7? Am I right? Yeah, no thanks. I just wanted a pen. Well, my desk isn't an office supply store, so you'll have to find one elsewhere. Speaking of office supply stores, would you like to know the history behind office supplies like staplers, copy machines, and paper clips? I'd be happy to talk with you about each of them if you have several hours to spare. Sounds fascinating, but no. Then a rain check it is. Do you have any deep philosophical things you'd like to tell me about the past? Sure do. Those who don't learn from the past are doomed. Doomed to repeat it? No, just doom. That's kind of scary. Yeah, but it sure gets my students to study harder. Okay, see you later, Mr. Barry. Well, you certainly won't see me in the past. <laughs> History humor. Mr. Murphy? I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. Bye. <laughs> I can't go there without a hall pass. I can't go there without a hall I can't go there without a hall pass.
can't go there without. She looks busy enough without me pestering her. This version of Windows sucks. I'm pretty sure the principal would notice if I took his award. No way! I don't know where he's been! I'm back for more! So, where exactly in the school would one score the good sniff markers? In the school? Yeah, right. Those golden days have long since passed. Industrial grade markers got hardcore banned. Why were they banned? Uh, an anonymous student got busted snorting 32 of them in the air ducts during the Narwhals game, and it totally wasn't his fault that he huffboxed everyone in the gym below, or that the basketball team got highlighter lung and lost the championship. Right. So, where can I, uh, score some? I heard there's a black marker dealer outside the school, but I can't feel my legs due to a completely unrelated fall from some duck work, so I can't try to track him down. Okay, I'll see if I can sniff out the goods somewhere outside. Smell you later. I can't go there without a hall pass. I'll leave the wedgies to the professionals. <laughs> <laughs> 